Hello and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, said during the annual CNN Heroes TV on Sunday, even in the darkest times, when we come together we have the power to remind someone else that there is hope and that we will be okay. She thanked people working to feed those in need during the pandemic. For the past 14 years, CNN Heroes has honored everyday people committed to making the world a better place. Co-hosted by CNN's Anderson Cooper and ABC's Kelly Ripa, the annual CNN Heroes All-Star Tribute is usually broadcast in front of a live audience. But this year, due to the coronavirus pandemic, it was pre-taped. In a year that has been universally challenging for everyone, I'm inspired by the stories of compassion in our communities. Across the country, people have put their own needs aside to come together and support the collective well-being of those around them. Back in March, the COVID-19 crisis hit hard and overnight, everything seemed to change. For many families, the impact of the pandemic has been catastrophic and far too many were faced with a heartbreaking question. How am I going to put food on the table for my family? But in the face of this devastating reality, we also saw the power of the human spirit and the remarkable ways that communities respond in challenging times. We saw the good in people, in our neighbors, and in entire communities coming together to say they would not stand by while our neighbors went hungry. We saw communities standing up and taking action. When kids' lunch programs came to a halt, we saw our neighbors make sure that those children receive the nutrition they need. And when those who are immunocompromised or most vulnerable couldn't leave their homes, we as a community showed up to deliver the food they needed to their doorsteps. We know the value of food as nourishment, as a life source. And in moments of crisis, the warmth of a meal can feel as comforting as a much needed hug, especially in the absence of human contact due to the social distancing we're all experiencing. These moments reminded so many that they're cared for. Tonight, we are celebrating these quiet heroes, some of whom I know and others that we applaud from afar. These individuals stood up and made sure the most basic needs of our communities were met. They made sure that those around them did not have to suffer in isolation. They nourished their neighbors in more ways than one. And they showed us all of us, that even in the darkest times, when we come together, we have the power to remind someone else that there is hope and that we will be okay. Another analysis, Meghan Markle's quiet statement broke Queen Elizabeth's biggest rule. When it comes to the members of the royal family, Queen Elizabeth runs a pretty tight ship. There is a long list of do's and don'ts that Her Majesty expects family members to abide by and she is pretty strict about enforcing most of them. For instance, the women in the family are expected to follow certain protocols when it comes to the way they dress. Skirts and dresses must be a certain length, makeup must be kept to a minimum, and hats are to be worn to all formal events. While the queen will sometimes look in the other direction if a family member bends a rule, perhaps sporting a darker shade of nail polish, there are still certain things that she is absolutely adamant about. Ever since Meghan Markle married Prince Harry, she has been known to do things her own way. The former actress has always been very strong-willed, something that she wasn't willing to change even after becoming a member of the royal family. She has gone against her grandmother-in-law's beliefs a bit in the past. But now, Meghan Markle's quiet statement broke Queen Elizabeth's biggest rule. What rules have Meghan broken in the past? The British royal family is about as high profile as they come, so it is really no surprise that the Queen likes them to keep up a certain image. For the most part, everyone has been diligent about following her rules, but when Meghan married into the family, she brought a new twist to royal life. Fans were quick to notice that during her time as a royal, there were things that she did that were definitely against the rules. What were some of them? Well, there was the time that Meghan closed her own car door when arriving for an engagement, something that the royals absolutely do not do. She also dared to wear a shoulder-bearing dress during one of her first appearances as a royal, which was trooping the color, and then there was the time that the Duchess spoke about her views on abortion during a visit to Dublin with Prince Harry. Meghan Markle's quiet statement broke Queen Elizabeth's biggest rule. It would appear as if Meghan is not about to change who she is or what she believes in any time soon, and she isn't afraid to show it. She recently violated one of the strictest royal rules there is, 
and we can't imagine how Her Majesty feels about it. What was the quiet statement put forth by Meghan that broke Queen Elizabeth's biggest rule? Meghan appeared in a podcast dressed in a t-shirt as well as a face covering that paid tribute to U.S. Supreme Court Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passed away not long ago. We all know that the Queen does not allow family members to voice their political views, and Meghan didn't hold back with her shirt that had the letters or BG, and her face covering that read when there are nine, a well-known quote by the late Ginsburg. Meghan isn't tied down to royal rules. While many fans may have been shocked at Meghan's outfit, we have to remember that she is no longer a senior working royal, and therefore, is not tied down to royal rules the way other family members are. During her time as a member of the royal family, a statement like that most likely would have been extremely controversial. Now that makes it as official, Meghan is free to talk about the issues that she is passionate about, and although what she wore definitely goes against the wishes of the Queen, she doesn't have to worry about royal consequences. Another report. Why Prince Harry's relationship with his grandfather is done. Prince Harry's life has undergone a lot of changes in the past few years, including his wedding to Meghan Markle and the birth of his first child. However, the most controversial moment came in January 2020 when he and Meghan announced they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family. After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year. Harry and Meghan wrote on Instagram at the time. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. The couple's announcement sent the world into a complete frenzy and is rumored to have created a rift between Harry and his family as he reportedly did not consult any other members of the royal family about the decision. Now, a biography titled Prince Philip Revealed Claims Harry and his grandfather Prince Philip's once close relationship is basically non-existent because the Duke of Edinburgh is dismayed and deeply upset over Megxit. Why Philip has walked away from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as well as what he really thinks of Harry's behavior. Prince Philip reportedly called Prince Harry's behavior alien. Prince Philip revealed author Ingrid Seward wrote that Prince Philip compared Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, to Wallace Simpson, the wife of the Duke of Windsor, who was formerly King Edward VIII. Some believe Simpson is responsible for pulling the king away from his duties, and she has long been blamed for bringing down the monarchy, after he abdicated the throne for her in 1936. She explained that Philip welcomed Meghan at the beginning as he knew firsthand what it was like to enter the royal family as an outsider, Seward said. So he's always very supportive of people marrying into the family. He quite liked Meghan at first, but their actions have left a bad taste and as a consequence the relationship with Harry has suffered. Apparently, Philip couldn't understand why Harry would want to leave the royal family. The royal biographer wrote, His grandson's behavior is completely alien to him so not unnaturally the relationship has suffered. She also told Sky News that Meghan's behavior is quite foreign to Philip, too. Seward explained, He just cannot understand why she couldn't support Harry and help him rather than wanting to have her voice. Allegedly, Philip is so upset over Megxit that he simply doesn't want to get involved anymore. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not like you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle may reign in woke speeches after seeing Prince Harry's relationship with family is at risk. Appearing on True Royalty's The Royal Beat, royal biographer Robert Lacey claimed the Duchess of Sussex's recent public engagements has proved that William was right to have concerns about his sister-in-law. The expert who is a historical consultant on Netflix as The Crown said, Meghan is a self-made woman, she become a star, she become a self-made millionaireess. In his new book Battle of Brothers, Robert claims Prince William asked his uncle to warn Prince Harry not to rush into marriage with Meghan Markle. Robert said on the program, I think when William sat down with Harry and said there could be problems, I think events have proved him right. However, the expert says Meghan may reign in her upcoming speeches after realizing how they could put Harry's relationship with his family is at risk as the royals are supposed to remain politically neutral. The expert continued, I think that Meghan has come to realize how some of her speeches risk her husband's relationship with the family. And Meghan Markle took Prince Harry on a secret tour of her high school in Los Angeles's where she performed as a child. 
Do you agree that they messed up with Meghan, that they could have handled her and her integration and her role slightly well, ag better? Well, again, um, this is being wise after the event, but I do think that. I mean, you know, Meghan is a self-made woman. At the age of 11, she's campaigning against Procter & Gamble <laughs> and saying, how dare you say women of America are fighting Greece in the, in the kitchen? It's people of America. And at the age of 11, she gets that to be. She becomes, whatever you think of her acting and the TV series, a star. She becomes a self-made millionaireess. You know, the whole, all the royal family are millionaires. She's the only one who's made her own money. Mm. They're all celebrities, but they've inherited their celebrity. They burnish it to greater or lesser degree. She's made herself a celebrity in her own right. So I think when William sat down with Harry and then later with his uncle Charles Spencer and said, look, there could be problems ahead, I think events have proved him right. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.